Okay, I, I, I thought she was friendly. As promised, today we will be rehousing my Ceratogyrus marshalli, which is also known as the Straight Horn Baboon or the Great Horn Baboon. Yeah, I think that's right. I mean, common names, nah, I don't really do those, but she's in here and I already showed you in like the GBB video that she has webbed up like the sides, like the walls of the enclosure she has webbed up. And I know these guys are burrowing species, but this girl, she just, no, nah, she just doesn't burrow. I'll show you in a bit. Had to take this one down from the top and this is still the tarantula that we still don't know this is the um not no idea you guys want to know i mean you guys want to let me know what tarantula this is leave me down in the comments below like comment something i don't know whatever species that is i'm interested to know all right so it's the month of october and as promised we'll be doing holiday themed merch here's some witch pissy themed items feel free to check them out you don't have to if you don't want to but they'll most likely be gone after this halloween season link in the description below if you want to check them out oh yeah og pumpkin patch merch will only be up for another week but yeah here is my sea marshally the great horn baboon let's just take a quick look at her she is oh there she is she is beautiful check that out yep we'll get a better look at her when i take this enclosure onto the floor down there let's get this girl onto the floor shall we i'm not quite sure which enclosure i will be rehousing her in though but i mean let's just put her down here so we can have like a quick look at her i mean why wouldn't we want to have a quick look at her she is beautiful uh my hand is like stuck like there we go <laughs> all right let's just have a quick look at her she is my calmest baboon though but i mean i did mention that i'm gonna be doing the old world next and the mashali next so yeah let's see how she behaves today hopefully she's doing good yep let's see deep she's still in like the same position i think from just now but check her out you guys that is why they call them straight horn baboon if you can see their horn yep there's a horn right on top of her head yep right there it is pointing straight up unlike the darlingi the rear horn baboon is pointing a little bit backwards like slanting a little bit backwards or something but yeah she's beautiful she's a good whoa okay girl calm down chill she's a good five inches check her out beautiful tarantula gotta love this girl i'm so glad i actually found a confirmed female one which i'm like super happy about so yeah Let's get her into, hmm, let's go have a look at an enclosure. Look at her, she doesn't burrow at all. She just lays a wet mat just like flat on the ground. No burrowing, no anything whatsoever. There's like a little burrow over there which she just stuffed her mold over there and just like left it as how it is. And then over here, I actually made this enclosure in such a way that, wait, sorry girl, in such a way that there is a sort of like a burrowing place below here. Like there's a wood, it's slanting and she is allowed to to go down there but then she never did that for months so what i did was i just put the water dish down here and yeah she's been doing fine ever since no problems eating whatsoever she's just doing like yeah that's her okay and yeah she just like i mentioned doesn't burrow so let's go look for an enclosure for her a suitable enclosure and yeah let's cover this because you never know i mean she's calm but old worlds are still unpredictable you don't know them okay so i was planning maybe one of the yeah, either this no, I think this one will put something else next time. It looks like like a jungle kind of thing. But I think I think she'll she'll do fine in this one. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think this would be good because she can web all around here. Since she likes to lay wet mats on the ground, she can she can go in there. There's like a little burrow in there for her for her to chill. Like sorry, my phone. Urgh. But yeah, she can go down there. She can chill, no issues whatsoever. She has a place to climb, and yeah, I think this enclosure would be perfect for her. I mean the substrate is still a little bit damp it's not the most dry one out there but it will dry out super fast because we have the um ventilations up here so the top ventilation which allows water to evaporate rather quickly so yeah let's get her into this enclosure all right guys let's do this let's test her temperament i need i, I thought i had like a little piece of grass over here hmm, is it is it around here uh, oh there it is it's a little uh, no it's not grass it's like a palm tree thingy like you see that palm tree over there yeah i took it out from there oh guys the rain has started i'm not sure if you can see but take a look at the roof you can see rain falling down dang it i hope it doesn't get too heavy because i mean i got a rehouse and it's raining 
editing and I can't film. Actually, I can. Okay, you know what? I'll just film and if the rain, if you guys can hear the rain, if it's really noisy in the background, then no, it's not my fault. Although it kind of is because I actually, you know what? I don't want to wait. I want to like rehouse her right now. So if you can hear the rain in the background, bear with it. Bear with me. Okay, guys, just a quick warning before you guys complain in the comments. Although I know you guys won't complain. A lot of you guys, I always complain about the rain and you guys are like, yup, the rain sounds nice. Don't worry about it. But I still hate it. But oh, I just wasted one minute just talking about rain. Okay, let's just get this girl into here. Who's ready for the Mashali Rehouse? Sorry for the cringe, but this channel's about cringe, okay? <laughs> okay, guys, let's see how this girl, she is. You can see she is super shy. As soon as I opened it, she went back. Usually other tarantulas, they're like, I will attack you. Let's see how this girl, like, oh, okay. She's doing, I mean, she's just active. She's active, at least that's something. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's a good start, girl. That's a good start. I like that. I like that. But, I mean, she's still considered one of my more... I mean, she's actually considered my most docile. Not one of my. She is my most docile baboon, like an old world. She is super chill. Like, I thought my shawlies are more aggressive, more defensive than the darlingies. But, I mean, she is like... No, I don't think so. But, even so, I still don't fully trust her because she is still an old world and you don't want to trust old worlds like fully or even if any amount of trust exactly. <laughs> Ow, oh my gosh, what did I do? Okay, anyways, ugh, sorry. Let's get her into this beautiful enclosure. Let's just check out what's in here. I'm not going to be explaining what the substrate is. Oh yeah, it's coconut fiber and river sand and blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> We've got uh, plastic plants over here, which makes the enclosure more stand out. Like it makes it stand out even better. Sorry, my English is a little off as always. But yeah, we have wood that is like pointing upwards, which allows her to climb up if she wants. If she wants, it's not like an arboreal tarantula, no. I mean, she likes to be up on the wood. She didn't go down. So if she wants, she can go up. There's the option for her, right? Okay, down here, we have quite a deep cave. Like, I don't know, can I actually put my phone in? Like, sorry, this is gonna be upside down because my phone is like filming here and I gotta like, yeah, sorry guys. There, can you see? It's quite deep. You gotta, you gotta like turn your computer screen or your phone screen if you wanna see this. But yeah, that's how it looks like. There's like a coconut down there. And yeah, that is how this enclosure pretty much is and how it looks like for this girl over here. I think it looks really, really good. Okay, so we have some moss over here. This is the place where we're gonna put a water dish and we've got dried leaves. I mean, she can in general go in and hide when she wants. There's like coconut husk over here, coconut husk down there as well. So yeah, and then there's like wood over here, which is something like a step for her to go down. It's like another valley kind of thing. Much the same like my GBB over here. Check that out. Ooh, I have no idea what she's doing, but I think she is getting ready for, I don't know, like adapting to her new enclosure, which is awesome. Yeah. Anyways, let's get this girl into here because, I mean, she's already ready. She is ready as you can see. Ooh, you know, should I? No, no, no. No, 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 I don't think I should, but you know, I want to weigh her as well. So let's just switch this on. See how heavy this thing is. 16 grams. Wait, when I rehoused my Arizona blonde, it was 14. And then the next one, it was 15. Now it's 16. Okay, whatever. Let's get her in. Don't bolt. Oh, yep. Okay. Okay, I, I, I thought she was friendly. No, she's not very friendly, but I mean... Okay, okay, yep, definitely not friendly, girl. Oh, I will not underestimate you after this. Okay, let's just put this over here. As long as you don't bolt, girl. As long as you don't bolt. Oh my goodness, what are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Now you want to go down? No, 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 no. That's not how it works, okay? You got to go up. You got to move up the lid. Come on, get onto the lid, girl. What are you doing? Come on, girl. Get on, get on to lid. Yeah, there we go. Stay, stay. Now I'm gonna have to weigh you, okay? Whoa, check that out, you guys. Check out her fangs. Yo, you don't wanna mess with this girl. Definitely not, because if you do, then you're in serious trouble. <laughs> Let's just, wait, it's minus 16. Okay, fine. She is 18 grams. Only 18 grams. Man, girl, you light because you're not thick. You are not fat. This girl isn't fat. Like, look at that. She is not so fat compared to, like, other tarantulas that I have. But yeah, what is my dad doing? No idea. Sawing something. All right, let's get this girl into her new enclosure because, um, why not? Okay, 
since you want to be on the lid, I'll let you be on the lid so you can slowly crawl. Oh, no, 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 no. This is pretty risky. Okay, no, 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 it's not risky anymore because... All right, there we go, girl. Enjoy your new enclosure. <laughs> now, I'm going to have to use my snake hook to like prod her in because yeah hopefully she doesn't bolt mm -mm 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 -mm. go on girl see this is what i mean she doesn't bolt she's really really slow and easy going and she doesn't really threat posture me it's like one of my first times seeing her actually threat posturing me go on girl come on get in there get in there you your 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 toe your toe you gotta like like like, come on. No, no, you're not coming back here. You're not coming back here. No, 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 no. You're going down there. Yeah, there we go. And then that's it, you guys. Whew. Beautiful. She's coming out. Yo, okay. Now that's awesome. I think I will take a picture. Oh, man. Check her out, you guys. Uh, that, I think, is beautiful. And I think this enclosure complements her even more. Okay, you're not coming out. You can see she really wants to come out. I think she really misses her old enclosure because of all the webbing and all. But girl, you gotta, like, web this enclosure. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, the smell of water dish. No, I mean, don't smell water dishes, you guys, because, I mean, that's kind of weird. I mean, why would you smell a water dish? Sweet, sweet smell of water dishes. <laughs> Okay, guys, Ugh, there we go. So yeah, that'll be pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just another rehouse series, I guess, if you could say that. Yep, I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys know what I'm gonna say, right? If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Like this video, thumbs it up. Don't like it, thumbs it down. All this good stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, and as always, have a good one. Peace. She seems to be exploring her new enclosure. I saw her like walking up here just now. She also went to the back there. She climbed up this wall. Awesome. I mean, you want to like escape or something? No, no, no. You're not escaping, girl. This is your home now. You're going to have to make use and make do with this home, whether you like it or not. I mean, you're, you're going to like it. Don't worry. I mean, now you may seem a little bit uncomfortable, but once you're used to this enclosure, like once you have webbed up everything, you're good. Yeah, you're good. And I know you will.